My name is Roger Easton. I'm a faculty member at the Chester Carlson Center for Imaging Science at the Rochester Institute of Technology. I, I'm an imaging scientist. I've been working on imaging, imaging problems for about 21 years. Being an imaging scientist, I sort of see myself working in concert with the scribe who copied these pages more than a thousand years ago. He was, in a very real sense, he was the imaging scientist of his day. He was trying to preserve this, this knowledge in the best way possible. He was, he was an archivist of his time. I'm trying to recover those writings that were lost after he originally copied them through no fault of his. So I sort of see myself as working together with somebody from a thousand years back to make this, this knowledge of the greatest mathematician of all time available again. The manuscript has appeared at exactly the same time as the technology is now available to read it. If it had appeared 10 years earlier, it might well have been imaged in a different way and that wouldn't have been successful and the manuscript would have been forgotten. Uh, so we, we now have the tools available to recover these writings that were not available at any time before. And so it's incredibly exciting to take advantage of these new technologies to try to read something that was of so much importance to the ancient world. We did what we thought was a very good job in our very first imaging session. We were actually able to strip the overtext off. And so all, only the, the pieces of the undertext that were in fact not obscured became visible. We thought that was exactly what the scholars would have wanted. They would have wanted just to see the Archimedes text. It turned out that was not as useful to them as we had expected. We got flamed. <laughs> When we, the first time we showed them to the scholars, their reaction was very negative. And so we had to go back and rethink what we did and come up with a new scheme that met the requirements they had as, as well as dealt with the realities of the situation that we had. We uh, took advantage of some of the ideas that Bill had and also that Keith, Keith and I had together came up with a new method for imaging the pages. Keith came up with this idea to render that in what we call pseudocolor. So it, it shows the Archimedes text in a different color than the prayer book text. And we do that by combining two of the images we took in, in a color, uh, in a single color image. And that, that idea, which has really worked out incredibly well, it's worked out so well that the scholars are now asking that we render all the text this way so that the undertext is a different color from the overtext. We, we got in touch with John R. Stokes of Stokes Imaging in Austin, Texas, who had this very useful camera, camera and system in the entire system, including the software, which we were able to take advantage of in the, in the last imaging session for the Archimedes, which allows us to collect images of full pages very quickly in all the different colors of light very quickly so we can image the entire book in the course of about two weeks. My role primarily has been the guy who kind of sews the thing together. Uh, Keith has the exp expertise in image processing and Bill has an expertise in a lot of areas of physics, whereas I, I'm more the imaging guy. I'm the guy who sort of said th these are the capabilities in the cameras that we're going to have to have and once we get the images out of that, I then am the, once Keith generates the images from that, I'm the guy who makes sure those images get distributed to the people who need to see them. I interact with Will Knoll, who's the director of the project, in a way that we, we interact very closely. We s talk to each other four or five times a week on the phone. Uh, we communicate by email probably several times a day. And the two of us have to deal with all of the minutia of the project. We have to make sure that all the contracts get signed, the people get paid, the disks with the images on them get shipped, the scholars get what they want. Um, in a way, we sort of interact. Uh, we, we are both learning a lot about each other's worlds in the course of this project. And for me, that's been particularly interesting. I mean, I have met people in the course of this project that I never would have met if I'd done anything else in my entire life. And that, in a lot of ways, is the most significant part of this for me.